Hi, welcome to Irish Hang Adventures. Um, Fisher Mark here today, um, that I kind of don't know what I could get. Um, this is Mark I haven't fished ever before, I was given it by a buddy, um, so it's a bit of an interesting one. It is a disused pier, so there's a bit of depth out in front of it, it probably drops down to maybe 30 40 feet deep. So it's nice. Uh, I have been told there's thornies here, and other than that, I'm actually not too sure. Might be huss if there's thornies, but we'll just have to wait and see. But um, yeah, I have three rods out currently, uh, two rods for Ray and one rod just for scratching around, see if there's anything else here. So um, yeah, so hopefully I can show you some fish on camera. So I'm just after getting a little slack on this, I think. And uh, just gonna give it one mind to see. Hopefully it's a thorny or something. Seems to have gone up current too. Yeah, that's a fish. Oh. So this was taken on a whole full sand deal. Uh, the rig I'm using is a panel pulley. It's a 4-0 bottom with a 4-0 barbless circle top hook. Oh. Um, it's probably only out 60, 70 yards. But uh, yeah, this is the second fish now I've had on sand eel. Um, my right hand rod has crab and the other rod has just bits of lug and some crab as well. So yeah, lovely little thorny again. It's coming up, geez, they put up a great fight from uh, fighting them almost like on a boat. So just get him up. Get him unhooked, perfectly hooked by the circle. You just cannot fault them. Only a small fish this time. Only a small thorny this time. Um, it's only probably about four pound, but lovely fish nonetheless. Lovely markings on the nose of it, if you can see there. Very spotted, but um. Ow. But uh, yeah, it's nice to. It's nice to actually get one. So again, that one was taken on, that was just on sand deal, on the penal pulley. So uh, let's get this guy back now and hopefully get some bigger ones. So it looks like, so I have a bite on my left hand rod here. Oh. Try to get this in. I'd imagine it's another thorny. This time it didn't go slack though. Oh. That's a fish. So again, that's on sand eel. Ah, feels better than the last one anyway. Right. Oh, no, Ray, yeah, Ray. Is it? Maybe it's the dog. Oh, doggy. Ah. So just this lovely little doggy. Uh, he's very sandy color, uh, so it must be a very clean bottom out there. But uh, yeah, he took a whole sand deal and uh, just caught on the circle hook, just to him out again is perfect. So uh, just gonna release him there now and hopefully we don't see many more of them and hopefully we get a few more ray. So the rig I'm using is the two foot pulley. Um, so the main body of it is 60 pound. The hook length is two foot of 100 pound, just because here I wasn't sure what I could be targeting. So I said 100 pound being nice, supple enough and strong enough as well. Um, so that's two foot of 100 pound, and then that goes down to a 4-0 circle with the barb that's crushed, as you can see. And then the bottom hook is a 3-0 uh, Skuma Manta Extra. So all I do then is I grab a whole sand eel and I've cut the tail and just in front of the gills off. Then just grab it. So then what I do is just go in the tail, just in, just enough to go around the bend of the hook, bring it out, pull that all the way through. 
then just go down and go out through the head so like so just out grab some elastic bind that all together so just wrap it up nice and tight and uh, you can see all the juice is starting to come out just provides a better scent trail for the fish to home in on so just keep wrapping that keep it nice and straight wrap it all the way to the tip wrapping the line to the bait the whole way let's go down again quick then grab the top circle so grab circle now just to be aware with circles if you can see that is an offset circle so what you want to do is wrap it the opposite way to the the way the point or the tip of the point is facing basically so the tip on this is facing to my right so I'm going to wrap from the right side around left that means that that will stay straight so I'll just give it two wraps then I'll just literally just nick it through the top of the bait like so pull it nice and tight and then I have a lovely bait with a hook either side so let's get this casted out now and hopefully get some more fish So it looks like I've got a few knocks on this rod and this one's baited up with full crab so I'm expecting it to be a doggy just from the way it knocked well, There is a fish there isn't it? As expected a dog So just another dogfish there again. Again, he's a very clean, sandy color. So uh, the ground out there must be just very clean and sandy. It must be just sandy channel or possibly even slightly muddy channel. But uh, uh he's a lovely color. Um, he took crab that time, that was a full crab. So uh, we'll just get this guy back and uh, get a few more. So I seem to have gotten a bit of slack line, a few nods I could think when I was at the other side of the pier so just gonna give it a check yeah there's a that's a fish I think yeah it feels heavy feels like another ray anyway this one was on sandy squidge cocktail just trying to bulk up the bait pretty sure it's a ray doesn't feel like a dog Ugh. should be up on the surface now any second and it's I think it's a dog actually yeah it's a dog I'm sure it was a ray for a minute but it's a dog and a mackerel no, isn't that a now that is a double hookup. So we've got a dog on the top hook and a mackerel on the bottom hook. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so there's the doggy, throw him back. And there's the mackerel. <laughs> he looks like he's been on it a while. Jesus Christ. That that's that's gotta be a first. For me anyway, that's definitely a first. A mackerel on the bottom hook. <laughs> He'd be kept as bait anyway, but mark on the bottom hook, doggy on the top hook. It's a good that's a good double uh, hook up there now alright.
So I just got this little small ray there. Um, it was taken on a squid lug cocktail that I was having out to see if there was anything else flowing about. But um, it's one of the least thorny thornies I've ever seen. If you can see across the back there, there's one tiny thorn here, one big thorn here and four above the eyes. And other than that, she's completely smooth. It's almost like a painted, which is uh, pretty cool. But uh, yeah, nice to see little small ones like this. So we get her back now and see if we can get a few more. So uh, this rod seems to have traveled a bit. Um, it was down to the left at the start and now it seems to have gone up right. So I'm wondering, do I have a ray on this now as well? It certainly feels like there is. Might be a dog actually. It doesn't seem to be putting up as much pressure. Uh, this was a piece of squid and mackerel cocktail. Just a small one, it was only probably the size of my finger. Um, it hasn't hit the surface yet. Whereas, oh, never mind, it's a ray. So just another little small thorny again. Uh, this one has more thorns than the last one, but we're getting back down quickly. So I'm just finishing up this session here now on this mark, but what we're actually going to do is move up to another mark in a second and fish for kind of smaller species, so pouting, whiting, coalies, and we'll see how we get on there. I figured out what was hitting the other rod, it was actually whiting, hitting squid strips. So I, I had one little whiting, it was only probably this length. I'll show you the video, um, but I didn't have the microphone plugged in. Don't know how I plugged it out, but it was. But um, yeah, so we're going to pack up here, move to another mark and get set up there. So I'll see you there in a second. And we're back. So uh, I don't know if you can see, but we're not on Castletown Bear. So I said I was going to fish the pier in Castletown Bear, but when I got there in the end, there was a lot of activity. There was a lot of nets being redone for boats and a lot of boats being refueled. So I said it would just be the best to avoid it. Had a look at Google Maps and said, Castle or um, Thursday Island is probably the best place to go. So I'm fishing the pier, which I've never actually fished before. I usually fish the rocks either side. And they always produce some fish, but uh, the pier, it's always been busy, so I've never never fished it. Um, now I know just to me left there is some patches of sand that hopefully might pick up some fish, but um, the current is pretty strong here and I'm hoping because it's a neap and it's just gone low, I might get at least an hour out of it here. But uh, yeah, as you can see I'm only fishing one rod at the moment. If it stays with a seven ounce lead, then I will take out the second rod, but for now I'm just gonna happily plug away with the first rod. Um, so let's see if I get some fish. So I actually was just setting up the other rod and uh, ended up getting a good bite there. Took a load of line. Um, I was trying to set up the camera, I managed to feck it up about five times. But interesting to see what this is. I have a feeling it could be a conger, but it could have been weed hitting the line as well. So So I've just given it a bit of line there to see if it'll move any bit. More than likely it's probably after just being a conger. I don't know if you can see me at all. So as I said, probably that was a conger if anything. So I'm not too sure what to do. So it's gone. I'm hoping that was the weak link that snapped there. So basically after that now I'm going to just have to retie that but first I'm going to get out the second rod with a trigger flapper. Just cast it in kind of close just see if there's any nice fish around because I can see coalies floating around there now. Well what look like coalies there could be something else. 
but um, there seems to be a lot of them floating in around the, the inner harbour here or the inner pier so uh, I'll just get this rod out now as quick as I can uh, tie a new leader onto the other one and uh, ooh there's a big wave and uh, hopefully get some fish on camera so I hope you can see this rod uh, left hand rod currently uh, is just casted out um, it's only flicked out maybe 30-40 yards So this left hand rod here, it's only casting out, uh, it's only an underarm flick, if it's out 30 yards it's out a lot. But I have that baited currently with crab, sand eel and black lug. Um, so I'd imagine that's going to pick up a few species but they're all going to be small if I get them at all because it's quite rough here. But uh, we'll just see now, I just have to tie a new leader onto my other rod. So I just moved this rod here and um, where I had it I thought it would have gotten bites a little bit more quickly but it didn't seem to get any bites at all but it looks like we have a bit of activity on this one here now. Um, I had a look around the pier and it is all coalies so if I get anything other than the coalie it's bound to be a success. It's not going to be a fun night if this is what I'm going to be dealing with. So we'll just get this guy unhooked and uh, cast him out as soon as I can. So I'm going to end the session there now and there doesn't seem to be anything else happening. Uh, just that one small strap conger and to be honest I don't want to stay here catching straps if that's all that's here. So um, yeah as I said I'm going to end the video. It was a pretty good day. I had plenty of tornadoes, plenty of dogs. Um, so if you enjoyed the video please like, please subscribe and uh, yeah thanks for watching.